How do you like the food in Indonesia? Oh, the foods are amazing. <laughs> I, could, I could eat the food at least five, six times a day. I mean, my, my favorite would be this Thai place we went to, where they served... Nasi goreng. Nasi goreng? Red meat. Yeah, but it was actually like the English, like Western style, and it was 10 times better than anything you could find in England. And uh, the bakso, the, the barbecue ribs, rice, and the soup we had yesterday. Well, what soup was that? <laughs> that soup was amazing. I had my nose running, but wow. <laughs> And the durian. <laughs> I call it the creamy mango. <laughs> the, I heard that you have experience with expert doctor in Indonesia. Oh wow! <laughs> An expert doctor, more like <laughs> the, the angel of death for me. <laughs> so I've had a nerve problem since about two years. So it starts from here, goes all the way down to the tricep, elbows and comes to the both fingers. And it's bilateral, meaning that it's both, and it's in both arms and both fingers. Now, in England, over the past two years, I've had MRI scans, X-ray scans, everything that you could imagine. And in the end, they've said, we don't know what it is, but you can have an operation. <laughs> I said, I'm not having an operation if you guys don't know what the root problem is. Now, Roby took me to a doctor. The doctor just touched me. And he was like, mmm, <laughs> which I didn't understand, but it said his body language and his expression suggested that he knew what it was. <laughs> and it was right, he turned out that he knew it was a nerve problem and the nerve was stuck underneath different muscles. So he had to bring it out. And wow, <laughs> it was the most ex uh, painful experience of my life. <laughs> I was wincing, screaming, screeching. <laughs> I, th I thought he'd broken my shoulder. <laughs> but after a few days, Alhamdulillah, I started to feel better. And then during my sleep, because I, I move around and I used to sleep on my side a lot, what happened was the nerve which he brought out actually came to the front. So I found myself walking around a bit rigid like this. <laughs> so we had to go to him again. And this, this time the experience was even worse. I thought I, thought I was genuinely, I thought these guys had to start digging up my grave. But <laughs> Alhamdulillah, I feel a lot better now. I have to sleep upright like a penguin. But <laughs> I guess it's part and parcel of the process to get better, inshallah. We call that doctor is tukang urut. Doctor? Tukang urut. Doctor malakul maut. <laughs> <laughs> Same doctor. Same another doctor with another problem. Oh, right. <laughs> another problem is the toe problem. Oh. <laughs> Which in England, they've said I should have an operation. And I came here and they just cleaned it up. <laughs> it hurt a bit, <laughs> but after it's been much better. So I've avoided two operations <laughs> since being in Indonesia, alhamdulillah. <laughs> alhamdulillah. You want to say something to Indonesia? Uh, I love Indonesia <laughs> and I'm moving here <laughs> and I'm bringing Bollywood with me. <laughs> 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 and I think one of the key things which I love about here is you can practice being a Muslim freely and, and properly. Now, I'm not saying that there's any restrictions in England, but for example, you wouldn't hear the Adhan five times a day. And it's just a beautiful feeling because I recall Muhammad Ali saying that one of the key reasons he converted to Islam was because he found a true brotherhood, true friends. Not friends, but friends which he could call brothers. And since I've been here, I've made a lot of, not friends, but brothers. And it's this communal spirit, this, this togetherness, which I think is just it's irreplaceable. You can't just, I can't put it into words. I think someone would have to come here and just experience it for themselves. So come to Indonesia, not Bali, but Ponorogo. <laughs> but Gontor. Gontor. University of Darussalam Gontor. University of Darussalam Gontor. And I guess the Darussalam means peace. And I've truly found peace for the first time in my life since I've been here. So far, Alhamdulillah, I've been, I've been humbled. And as much as I've taught, I've probably learned more just by, just by observing. Even being in the Gontor school, the discipline, and I believe that the principle of discipline and always being in the move and uh, being on the go comes from an Islamic principle actually where it says that a moment, a true believer, is, is, is not lazy, he's always fulfilling his time. And I believe that when, once, once I've, since I've come here, I've truly realized that you have 24 hours in a day. And it's up to you if you make the most I, of it. I said 
Oh. Closing statement. Closing statement. Not another, oh. not another speech. Closing statement. What do you mean by closing statement? So. Gontor, I love you. <laughs> Gontor, I love you. <laughs> okay. <laughs>